Whether you're in a master's or an undergraduate program, you've probably heard about the term plagiarism before. You know it's bad news, and that if you plagiarize, you may get a zero on your assignment or fail a course. So avoiding plagiarism is important, right? But what does to plagiarize mean exactly? Actually, several definitions are out there. Some include to pass off or present another person's ideas, information, expressions, or entire work as one's own. To commit literary theft. Okay, but what does all of this mean in plain English? Let's get into it. Basically, it means that you must do your own work, submit original work, contribute your own thoughts and ideas, quote and paraphrase according to assignment requirements, and always give credit to all works and ideas that you borrow. Here are four quick pointers to help you keep on track. Number one is time management. We know student life can be challenging. Juggling all your academic work, the papers, projects, assignments, and exams you get throughout the semester, with a job, responsibilities at home, and your social life, is a lot to take care of. It can be tempting to take dangerous shortcuts, like buying a paper online, copying your friend's essay, reusing a paper you wrote before, or cutting and pasting information without giving credit. But honestly, what will you learn by doing any of these things? Not much. And you risk losing points or getting a zero on your assignment, losing credit for a course, getting a permanent note of plagiarism on your academic record, or possibly even being expelled from MSVU. So instead, learn to manage your time more effectively and avoid procrastination by using the resources that we've prepared for you. To improve your time management, you can find help in Mount 101, Groodle, or by contacting the Learning Strategist. This will allow you to manage your stress levels so that there's no temptation to take a dangerous shortcut. You'll be able to get your work done and still enjoy time with your family or an evening out with your friends. The second pointer is about making sure you understand your assignment. So here's the scene. You look through the requirements for your assignment and feel that you don't even know where to start. This is the perfect time to make a list of what you understand and what you need clarification on. Then, it's time to ask your professor. Ask a specific question that demonstrates that you've attempted the first steps to decipher the assignment. The third pointer is about getting research and citation help. You know you are not supposed to use Wikipedia or rely on Google search results, but how do you find acceptable sources? No worries, we're here to help. Check out our general research help guide and FAQs for information on how to search for books, ebooks, and articles. Also, suggested resources in your area of study can be found in our library guides. While researching, you also want to be sure you're organizing and tracking the sources you use. You must make sure you can cite all your sources properly, and yes, everything must be cited. Words, images, music, videos, websites, Facebook posts, tweets, and more. Check out the MSVU Library Citation Guides for examples on how to cite your sources. If you need further help with either research or citation, you can contact a librarian by email or book an online or in-person appointment. Our fourth and last tip is about getting writing help. So, you've done your research and organized your sources, and now it's time to let the creative process begin. Don't panic. It's not unusual to feel a bit overwhelmed when trying to develop your own points and pull it all together to create a good paper. Rest assured, the more you do it, the easier it gets, and there is help. You can book an appointment online with the Mount Writing Center for up to an hour one-on-one -on -one with an experienced tutor. They can help you start to be clear about your assignment instructions, create a plan, 
develop a thesis, improve your sentence level issues of grammar and style, and enjoy the process. Another place you could turn if English is one of your additional languages is the International Education Center, which has English language tutors available to help develop your proofreading and editing skills. You can book a free appointment on the international page of the MSVU website. As you can see, avoiding plagiarism is achievable if you manage your time effectively, understand all assignment requirements, get research and citation help from librarians, and get writing help from the Writing Center or the International Education Center. To find out more about academic integrity and plagiarism, please read our Academic Integrity Guide, available online at the Library, Writing Center, International Education Center, and other student services. Best of luck with your writing assignments this semester. You've got this.